Chapter 1, Turtle Power for Drawing Well, Sophia, congratulations. You now know the basics of Python. You know about numeric and string variables. You can do calculations, make lists, tuples, and even maps. That's true, but when do we come to the fun part? You promised me you'd teach me to draw using Python, too. Of course I remember that. I guess now you're all set to learn about turtles. Turtles? Don't tell me I'll be using a turtle instead of a mouse to draw now. <laughs> Don't be silly. The turtle is a module that has all the commands you need for drawing. I'll explain to you later what a module is, but first, let's just learn how we import a module. Simply type the following. When you press Enter, Nothing happened. No, don't worry. Since we didn't get any error message, it's a good sign. It means the turtle module has been successfully imported. Now, let's just start our first turtle code. First and foremost, we need to create a canvas on which to draw. We do this by using the pen function, like this. Make sure you type the P for pen in capitals. If I press the return key, you'll see a blank screen with an arrow in the center, like this. This is called the canvas, and the arrow in the center is your turtle. Boy, that does not look like a turtle. There's no need of being Miss Smarty. Well, now it's time to make our turtle move and draw along the way. Some basic movements that your turtle can do are move forward and backward and turn left and right by varying degrees. Let's start by making it move forward. Type the following. What this command does is ask T, which in this case is the turtle, to move forward by 50 pixels. What's a pixel? A pixel is the smallest point on the screen. In fact, the whole computer screen is made up of tiny dots, each of which is called a pixel. So let's press the return key and see what happens. You see? The turtle has drawn a line by moving 50 pixels forward. Now let's tell the turtle to turn left. You can make it move another way, but right now, let's just tell it to turn to the left. We'll do this as follows. What this does is it tells the turtle, T, to turn left by 90 degrees. I'm sure you've learned all about angles in school, right? Yes, I have. What if I wanted it to turn right? Should I just type right instead of left? Absolutely. I'll show you a diagram to let you see where your turtle will face after turning it by different degrees. Thanks, Jacob. That was really helpful. So now that we have rotated the turtle left by 90 degrees, what next? Next, we draw another line of 50 pixels in this direction. Oh, I can do it. Let me. And if I press the return key, there. Wait, I can finish this now. I'm guessing you're trying to make a square, so let me complete the rest of it. Okay, now let me see how my drawing turned out. Good job, Sophia. You can be an annoyance sometimes, but I'm proud to have such a smart sister. Okay, quit the praise game. I want to learn more. Okay then, type this. And then press the return key. Hey, where did my square go? You deleted my square. <laughs> yes, I used the reset function to tell Python to delete everything that turtle T had created. If I had typed t.clear parentheses instead of t.reset parentheses, then it would have done the same thing, but just left the turtle where it was. Interesting. Can my turtle do a moonwalk? You mean, can it move backward while drawing? Of course. Instead of typing T forward, you just use the T backwards function, like this. Then press the return key. There, see? Okay, now tell me, what if I want my turtle to move forward or backward without drawing anything? In that case, I use the turtle's up function. Let me demonstrate. But first, I want the turtle to turn left by 90 degrees. So... If I take a look at my turtle now, you see? It's moved forward 30 steps without drawing anything. 
Now, I want to make another line parallel to the line I had drawn earlier, so I put my pen down again by using the turtle's down function and continue like this. And if I press the return key, there. See, after I used the down function, I made the turtle turn right by 90 degrees and then made it move forward by 100 steps. Finally, to make your turtle disappear so that you can only see what you've drawn, type this. I'll press the return key. There, the turtle disappeared because of the hide turtle function. Why did you type forward in the end and not backward? Because if we did that, your image would have looked like this. Understood. Are straight lines all that I can draw with Python? Not at all. You can even draw circles. Let me clear the screen first, then I'll show you. This will create a circle of radius 50. You can change this value depending on how big you want the circle to be. Now, if I press the return key, see what happens. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Can I change the color? Sure. You just add the following lines. First line will clear the screen, as you know. The second line will change the color of the turtle to red. You can use any other color you like, instead of red, too. The third line will then draw your circle in red. Now, let me press the return key and show you. You see? And what's more, you can even fill the circle with a different color, like this. It just drew the circle, but did not fill it with color. Wait for it. I didn't yet add a very crucial line. Then I press the return key. Wow, that's beautiful. Can I do the same when drawing anything at all? Yep, provided your drawing is closed in the end, so that the fill color doesn't leak out. Make sure you give your end fill command only after you've closed the loop. Boy, this is so much fun. Thank you so much for helping me learn this, Jacob. You're the best brother in the world. Now you quit the praise game. It's question time. You ready? I was born ready. Draw a blue rectangle of length 30 pixels and width 60 pixels. You should first create a canvas with a turtle called R. Don't forget to hide the turtle in the end. That's easy. Here's the answer. and press the return key, boom! That's great! You used the pen command to create a canvas and named your turtle R. Then you changed the color to blue and used appropriate forward and left commands to draw your rectangle. Finally, you hid your turtle using the hide turtle command. Next question. Write a program to draw three circles of radii 20, 30, and 50 respectively one inside the other. Each circle should be filled with a different color. That sounds like fun. Let me name my turtle C. Here's my answer. If I press the return key, look, Jacob, doesn't it look pretty? It sure does. You created a canvas with a turtle called C, then used the fill color function to set the fill color each time to your desired color. Then you used begin fill to tell Python that this is where it will start filling from, and then drew the circle and used end fill to tell Python that you finished drawing, and it can now fill in the color. You did this for each of the three circles. Good job. Next question. Type out a program to create a canvas with a turtle called Boxy. That's going to draw a box without corners, like this. Okay, let me just keep the length of each line to be 60. Here is my answer.
Phew. Then I press the return key. Got it. That's good. You used the pen up and down functions very smartly and completed the whole square with 10 pixel gaps on both ends of each side. Well, that's a wrap for now. Next, we will tackle decision making. Got it. Thank you.